Hi, welcome to Tantalus Oracle. Thank you for joining me today. So today I want to look into the case about uh, Rudy Farius. He's the the young man who was missing, allegedly missing for eight years. And they recently found him and found out that he had been at home with his mom the entire time. So I'm going to pull some cards on him today. Okay, so All right, so here we have someone who's a liar, but we have a mother involved in here. And somebody's lying and being deceptive. Somebody thinking they're, what they're doing is the right thing to do. But this is someone that he thought um, that he could have there for him to be, like someone that you would think that would be compassionate to you, someone that you could talk to, someone that you can lean on. Okay, but then you have the consequences of some actions here. So somebody did something because somebody else, they felt somebody else did something wrong or this is the consequences. Something is coming up because of some action someone took. OK, so let's look into that. Okay, so here we have, like like I said, this is someone that he thought that he could go to. And, you know, somebody that you trust, that you would be going to if you need to support, if you need someone to talk to, if you need a shoulder to cry on. That type of person, okay? Nurturing, somebody to nurture you. But this person is someone that he had, there was a fading relationship, so there were some issues between him and that person. Then you have someone here who is doing, you can't tell them what to do. They, they hard headed or they, they just go, go about things in their own way. You can't tell them what to do. They're going to do whatever they want to do anyway. So that's probably why they had a fate in relationship because this person is not, um, doing, listening to you or what you need. And that's why y'all having a problem in your relationship. And here you have some regrets here in dealing with that person. Here, there's some things going on within the family. So within his family, somebody is being heartless in the family. Okay. Because, and then this person feels like what they're doing is right. Like, it doesn't matter if it's right or wrong to everybody else. They feel like what they're doing is right or it's the right thing to do. But this person is a heartless person. But this is something that's going on within his family. He's dealing with someone that's heartless in his family. Okay. And this is someone that he thought that would be caring for him, but they having a fading relationship. He's having a fading relationship with this person because this person is not listening to him. Okay. But there's some regrets here with this person as well. And whether that's him having regrets or the other person having some regrets about something.
Okay, so here you have someone who's lying and being deceptive. And then they have the jealousy, envy, and hate. So there's some bad feelings here with someone. This is some an ex. So it's an ex, something that somebody used to deal with. Someone, someone used to deal with something. Okay. It could be some old feelings that someone had. Okay. Connected to some, but somebody is lying and being deceptive about some feelings or some emotions that they had towards someone. Or it could be some old feelings, like I said. Some things from the past. And here, like I said, there's some bad feelings here. And somebody is lying and being deceptive about some things. But this is relating to some family issues. Okay. And whoever this person is in the family, we're not going to say being heartless, not caring. Okay. And this caused them to have a riff here in the relationship. They got some things going on. Okay, so here we have with this mother. You have someone being naive or not understanding what's going on with them dealing with this person. They're not understanding the full capacity of what's going on with this person. Um, but since some, this mother is not getting what she wants, okay, this is somebody wanting something that you're not giving or that they can't have. And... Somebody is being naive or somebody is not understanding some things as it relates to this mother. Okay. This person having bad feelings towards you, jealousy, envy, or hatred towards you. They're lying and being deceptive here. This is a manipulator. Okay. And like I say here, this is the person that he's having issues within the family is related to the mother being heartless, thinking what she's doing is right. Like it don't matter. If everybody else says wrong, I feel like this is the right thing to do or they think they're doing the right thing. Okay. So this is the consequences of your actions. This is somebody feeling cheated on, like somebody is cheating on you in a relationship or somebody being cheated out of something. And this is someone that you have love for. So somebody feels like they are being cheated out of some things by someone that they have love for. Okay. But this is the consequences of the action. So somebody is doing something to you because of something that you they feel like you did wrong. Okay, they feel cheated for something. Whatever they're not getting what they want here, there's something that they want that they're not getting. So they feel cheated. So this is the consequences of that. Okay. This is why you having a problem because this person is not listening to you. There's some regrets here in dealing with this person. So go back with these. So here we have the authority card. So this is someone, this card, this is someone who 
is in control or this is the person that's behind whatever is going on this could be the authorities as well so here we have whoever the the person is that's behind what's going on with rudy they may be having some regrets they had a fatal relationship with him and then maybe they felt like either he was not listening to or doing what they wanted to do or they just was someone who doesn't listen to you listen to him i should say and just does whatever and causing a problem between them two okay here you have someone who is plotting on you so they're trying to set some things up because there's some things going on within the family and they and then they're just a heartless person okay and they feel like what they're doing is right or they're doing the right thing This is sexual energy, sexual partner, sexual activity. Okay, somebody is lying and being deceptive. They're hiding some things here. Okay, and this is connected to some sexual activity, jealousy, envy, hatred so by the ex. So there's some things going on with somebody that this person used to deal with. Okay, maybe they had some dislike for that person, somebody they had a, a sexual partner they used to have. They they have some issues with that person. But then there's also they're being they're lying and being deceptive as well, because like I said, they could be doing this out of anger or hatred for somebody they used to deal with in a sexual way or this is how they're doing it in a sexual way okay because we have this the person behind it some sexual energy somebody trying to set something up a situation up this mother like I said, there's something that you want that she can't have. And then somebody is not seeing what's really going on. They're being naive to the situation. This also represents a child or childlike energy. Somebody you enjoy spending time with. Okay. So this mother may want somebody that she can spend time with because we have the boyfriend and the depression. So there may be some depression behind a loss of a boyfriend because we have here the ex. So I'm not getting what I want. I need I want somebody that I can spend time with that I can enjoy being with like a boyfriend because there's some depression here this is the truth will be revealed okay or has been revealed so somebody might find out about something so this is the consequences of what happened somebody might find out about what you have been taking from someone this is you taking something away from somebody cheating somebody out of something taking something away from them somebody that you have love for somebody may find out some things that you have going on with that okay so like i said somebody's going to find out with this person which is more the mother Okay, truth is going to come out about this mother, about what's going on within this family here and how it was setting some things up. And this is all about her because of what she wants. This is talking about the mother lying and being deceptive because there's some things that she's missing and she's angry about those things. And it's causing her to be depressed about husband, boyfriend, fiance. Okay, she wants somebody that she can be with. Over here, we have the abuser, abusive relationship. Somebody being abused. 
psychic wounding. Guilty conscience. Deceived and betrayed. Betrayal of once again. There's other relatives. And then here we have oppression. A lover. Okay. All right. So we have that coming out as well. So here you have somebody being a sexual abuser because there's some things that they want. A lover. Because we see this here. She wants a connection with somebody. So the oppression and the psychic wounding. And then we have promiscuous. Um, betrayal here. Forced conversion. Okay. So, and we have... Um, the guilty conscious. So you have all of this coming out as it relates to this. So somebody is abusing somebody and it's because of something that they're lacking, but they also know that they're doing wrong as well in here. And we see that because you want to keep some things under wraps. You're trying to hide some things. This is why you lie in here. All right. So now I'm going to go into the other cards to see what comes out with that. Okay. So now I'm going to look into these cards to see what comes out here. Okay, so now we have the key internal and surgery. So this just means some somebody has key information on something that was somebody caused some type of internal harm to some internal injuries to somebody. And then this is someone not wanting to deal with you anymore. So they're trying to cut you off. They don't want to deal with you because you're causing them some internal damages. Something internal is happening to them. And then they also have key information or this is the key to the situation or this is the, the, the main thing behind it because somebody is causing somebody some, some harm internally and they don't want to deal with you anymore. So here we have the neighbor affiliated in transportation. So this just means somebody that's connected to you, you affiliated with this person, you're connected to this person. They're causing you some pain, some internal, they're hurting you on the inside. You're causing some damages to you on the inside. Okay. And this is this person that's affiliated with you. This is someone that can get close to you. But also we have neighbors with key information as well. Then we have here, this is somebody as a vehicle, or this is somebody being moved from one place to another. Somebody moving moving from one place to another because they trying to get away from you. They don't want to deal with you. So somebody is taking somebody somewhere else. You moving from one place to another because you don't want to deal with this person. But you you are trying to, you're being moved by somebody that is 
affiliated with you and that can get close to you as well. So here, once again, we have a fading relationship. So they're not getting along because somebody is causing them pain on the inside, hurting them on the inside. That can be trauma on the inside, mental trauma. It can be whatever that could be. But they have an fading relationship because this person is causing you pain. Here, this person is being isolated, okay, because they have key information or they are the key to the situation. So this person is being separated from others. You're keeping them away from others, but you have a fading relationship with this person. This is a female here that you don't want to deal with, that you're trying to cut this female off. You don't want to deal with them anymore. Okay. But this fading relationship and this person, because of this person causing you pain, is someone that affiliated with you, trying to isolate them cut them off from people that's close to them. Okay. So you're trying to isolate Rudy was being isolated from people that can be, that is close to him because they might have information or, or he was, there was some information that somebody could have had. Okay. But also this is the neighbors, like people in your neighborhood as well. Also, this female could have been moving him around as well because she didn't want, she was trying to keep him away from others because we have the isolated. You're trying to avoid somebody. You don't want to deal with somebody or you don't want to deal with something. So you kind of cut this person off. So you cutting him off. She's cutting him off by moving him around. Here you have someone lying. They're not telling you everything. They may tell you some of the truth, but they might not tell you everything. They're covering some things up. And then they're, this is this person living two different lives. So they may be doing one thing on the outside and doing something else on the inside or doing something else when they're alone versus when they're with you living a different lifestyle. Okay. So you have this person lying to the people that, that are close to them. So they're, people that are close to them that could be your family whoever neighbors friends whatever you're lying and not telling them the truth because you are isolating somebody because they have information you're trying to cover up some things as well with somebody that you affiliated with because you have an affiliated relationship with this person because you're hurting this person and then you have this female living a different lifestyle hiding things okay they're trying to keep someone they're cutting someone off they're cutting themselves off as well and then they're moving, moving things around, moving someone around, moving things around because they're trying to hide certain things. They're covering things up. So here we have the power, the molesting the animal. So here you have someone trying to take control over somebody, be controlling, remove your power. They're overpowering you, taking away your power, leaving you powerless. Okay. Keeping you isolated. Okay. So this is somebody being controlling of you, keeping you isolated from other people. Be, that's the key. That's like what this is all about, or because you have information that you, they don't want anybody to know. And also when they're, 
trying to control you because they're trying to molest you in some type of way, whether that's physically, sexually, or emotionally. This is why you're not getting along with this person. This is why y'all having a fading relationship because this person is abusing you in some type of way, causing you hurt, trauma on the, internally. Okay. And then with this animal, this is somebody who can work with animals in somewhere animals are, but it's also someone who's acting in a savage way. Very, very nasty, very harmful, very vicious. Okay. Here, this female. And that's why you don't want to deal with her. That's why he doesn't want to deal with her. Because see, this person, like I said, two different ways. They act on one way on the outside and one way in, at home, just say, okay, they're acting this way. Here, you trying to cover this up, this molestation. You're trying to cover that up. You're trying to cover the abuse up. You overpowering somebody. You're trying to be controlling of someone and you're lying about it. So you're not telling the truth about what's going on. Okay, so here we have the lab, the, the drugs, and the cohabit. So here you have somebody doing something they know they're not supposed to be doing, but they're happy they're getting away with it. They're laughing as they're lying to you, lying to the neighbors, lying to people that's close to you because you think you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing. You're doing something evil, and you're thinking you're getting away with it. You're being controlling. That's why you're keeping them isolated, keeping them hidden away. Here you have them with the drugs and the molest. So you're, you're abusing them physically, sexually, emotionally. You're having the drugs here as well. But you're trying to cover all of this up. You're trying to cover it up. Maybe you're trying to use this to cover up this. And this is somebody that he lives with. Somebody that this person lives with. The person that's doing the abuse. They live with the person that they're abusing. Or just, just somebody he lives with. But they live together. Okay. There's some things being hidden here. That's why they're moving somebody around. So you could have been moving this person around. Somebody that you live with. Because you're trying to cover up some things that you have been doing. All this this abuse here. You have an abusive relationship. We see it here with this. And it's very, very cruel. Let's say it like that. This female. Okay. And it's like, he just wanted to get away from me. I don't want to deal with you. But also she was trying to keep him away from everybody as well, because we see that with the isolation and we see the abuse and we see on the first part is because of her wanting, having some issues with either she misses a relationship that she had with somebody or she wants a relationship with somebody. And that's why she feels like this is the best thing for her to do. Because of the depression that she may have been going through behind a relationship or the loss of a relationship or whatever it is. Okay. And, but we see this. So everybody had questions about, oh, did she really do that? They saying that she didn't do that. It's saying it right here, the abuse and the drugs. Cause that's what he said. She was drugging him up and she was abusing him. And it's right here that that's what happened to control you. And it's not as she know what she was doing, happily doing it. She know it was wrong, but she didn't care. I'm just going to keep lying about it. Okay. So that is the, the reading on Rudolph Rudy Farius. Thank you for watching. You can leave your comments in the comment section.